guys, I am here to bring you another Dead Zone tutorial. Now, I made one of these videos um, a few months ago, and it didn't get a lot of attention at first, but now, like, it's been getting more and more, and people have been, like, requesting other videos. One of them was requesting how to make guns, so I figured I would make a video on how to make guns for Dead Zone and put them in your game. Now, I know the video is going to be kind of laggy, but I have spent the last hour trying to find a program that can record this without lagging, and this is the best one I've found. So, you're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it. Sorry. So, anyways, um, to begin, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to Lighting, and you're going to want to go into Lighting, go to Assets, go into Items, and then find a gun that you're, that you're gonna want to make, or find a gun you're gonna that is similar to the gun you're gonna want to make. So, let's say I wanted to make a gun that's kind of like an M249. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna bring it out into the workspace. We gotta paste it, and then it's this right here. And then I, I renamed it Item Test Gun. Make sure you name it with an item and then the name of your gun. So, you could you don't have to do this, but with the new Roblox Studio like restrictions on how thin and thick things can be, I did this. I mean, like I I know there's plugins and crap that you can do to get around that, but I just don't have any, so I just do this because it's a lot easier. And you have everything you need in it. You'll open it up and you'll see count, damage, description, image, whatever. So what count is used for is to tell you just how many of them are there there are when you pick it up, and usually you're gonna want it one or else it'll screw up it. Next is damage. How much damage it does, higher the number, higher the damage, obviously. I think you have like 15,000 health. Maybe it's 12,000. But, I don't know, but the, the higher that, that number is, the more damage it'll do. Description. This is what you'll see when you hover over the gun, like, in your inventory. You can make it, like, be a description of the gun, or what ammo it takes, or whatever. Image. This is just what the picture of the gun is. If you want to change that, then change it with the link it's kind of hard to do so i might put that in, in, in a different video but that's not really important so recoil 11.225 that was really weird what i just said i don't know but the higher the number the more recoil you have and shot delay this is how long it takes before it can shoot another shot and i don't know why there's so many zeros and crap but all i know is that if you want an automatic you're going to want a pretty small number there and then zoom. 80 is like default. Any higher than that and your gun will like zoom in like a sniper. So if you don't want to zoom in, then leave it at 80 <clears throat> or at 60. Next thing is the components of the gun you're actually going to need. You have barrel, main, extra parts, which I'm going to recolor because this gun looks way too similar to the actual thing. I'm going to make it look really sweet. And then you have the two sights. So then... What you're, gonna, you're, what you're gonna wanna do with your gun is you have, you have to make sure that you name something barrel, where the bullets come out of, main, where you hold it, and then sight, where it aims to line up to. You need two of these. Where it will aim and line up to, and where the bullets will go, ultimately. So, once you have your gun made, you will take it, and then you will drag it down towards lighting, but you have to make sure that you open up lighting first and then you have assets right there drag it down to lighting put it in assets and then drag it into items then it will immediately go into alphabetical order down there it does not really matter though and then now it's time for the script work you've done all the regular hard work like part work uh, now it's on to the scripts what you're going to want to do next is open up generate world once Generate World is opened up, you want to click Control Shift F. You then are going to want to look up a gun that is most similar to your gun that you have made. So, for example, if I made um, our, our gun, item test gun, is very similar to the M249. So, I would look up M249. Now, this only applies for, a gu for your gun that you're making only if it uses an already existing ammo type. If the ammo type is, that you wanted to use does not already exist, like if you wanted to make up a brand new kind of ammo called, like, Magical Powder, then I'm, that is not included in this video on how to make. We're going to make guns off current existing ammo types, 
but if you guys want me to, I, I will make a video explaining how to make new types of ammo. So, I'm going to look up the gun that it is most similar to, click find all. You will then see down here, find results, five matching lines. You want to make sure that it's five. If it's not five, then, then something's not right. So you want to click on the first one, and then go down to this. This shows what type of ammo your gun uses. So I want my gun to use 7.62 millimeter bags. So I'll go into here, and after the last one, type or name equals equals, then the name of my gun. Item test gun. You have to make sure that you have item in the name of your gun, like your actual thing, your actual model over here, has to be named item and then your gun, or else it will not work. So after that, move on to the next one, and this shows the gun tiers based on their rarities. So if you want to make it really common, you would put it in, in gun tier 1. Really rare, you would put it in gun tier 11. We're just going to put ours in gun tier 9. So what you do after this is you will see... After the last one, you put a comma, enter, and then put the name of your gun in there. Item, test gun. So, after that is in there, then you're all good, and we'll move on to the next one. This one shows you what type of ammo it takes, and not what type of ammo it takes, what type of gun it is. So, you want to find the kind of gun that it is, which is, is it a pistol, is it a shotgun, is it an automatic, is it a rifle, is it, or is it a melee? Ours is an automatic, so you we'll go into the automatic one, go into the row right go into the row right above that. Sorry about that. But go into the row right above that. Scroll all the way down to the last one. And put in or name equals equals and then name your gun. Item test gun. And what the heck's happened? So, you also put a space after that, so you have the, the space after that where it goes to then. If there already is not a space. So then, go, go down to the next one. And this shows what ammo type it takes in their tiers. So, in the automatic tier, then it shows what kind of gun it takes, what kind of, what kind of ammo it takes here. What you want to do is you just want to put the gun in there again, or... Pay attention here because it's or item name, not just regular name or not name anymore. It's just now it's item name. So then or item name equals equals then the name of your gun. And then if there's no like little red squigglies like you just saw, that means you did something right. So like that, you see there's squigglies. You don't want any squigglies. So then, after that, you go down to the last one, which is the reloading animations. It doesn't really matter for this one, but you just want to put it in one that it is similar to. So since it's a, it's a light machine gun, I'm just going to put it in the light machine gun re reloading category. There. Oops, forgot, I forgot, forgot the equals equals. If you do one thing wrong, like an extra space or an extra comma, or forget to capitalize something, it will screw up the whole thing and you will need to go back through and find out what you did wrong. But once you have all five lines, it's inserted in all five different places, then you can close out of it, close out of these scripts. So after you have the gun in the scripts, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to run the game a bunch, like run it 10, 15 times. See if it spawns. Go into target filter, ignore, go into items, and then you'll see in the spawns a list of all the items that are currently in the game. Look through there, see if your gun spawned in it, look around the map for it, and if you don't see it, just end it, run it again, and you just do that by, cl by clicking play right there, or, or you can click play, yeah. And then if it doesn't spawn by, say, like the 15th time, then go back through all the steps, See if you did everything right, and if you are sure you did everything right, then you may just have something wrong with your gun, or maybe your game scripts are screwed up a bit, or maybe you accidentally, like, backspaced something. You want to make sure that everything is exact, especially in the scripts, but other than that, you should be good to go, and that's, that's basically how you put guns in your game. So, I hope this video answered the questions, and 
the procedures on how to do this kind of stuff, and if you guys want me to make more, I will be happy to make more. So, just leave a request for it, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.